Okay, so this is the big one, the one we've all been waiting for. We're doing a sketch off and we're comparing once for all what is better, a fountain pen or a fine liner. We're going to be doing the same scene twice and by magic I'm going to be doing them at exactly the same time. And let's just have a look at how things work differently in the two different sketches. And what you'll immediately see is um, the grip that I'm able to use with a fountain pen is much looser. Do you see how on the left my hand is really loose on that fountain pen? But on the right, you're very much having to hold, well, hold it like a pen, like you would to write. So this is reflected also in the kind of quality of line work we're getting. Now, if we look at the Lamy Safari on the left, that's an extra fine nib Lamy Safari. You can see there's already a real character to the line work. There's a big sort of variation from little lines to big lines, bold to fine, you know, all sorts of things going on. Now we contrast that to the fine liner. What we can see is it's very controlled. Now everything is quite uniform and this isn't necessarily a pro in or a win for either side, but it's something which it's worth making note of. So the, the right image is definitely more controlled. There's definitely less contrast, but despite them both being loose, it's got more continuity and consistency to it. Now, what happens when we start moving across the image a little bit more? Well, we can see the same effects really taking place. So in the, the Lamy Safari, these these lines are, are bold, are, are wobbly, are just uh, having a huge heap of character to them. Now on the right, we've got much stricter and straight lines. Now a lot of that is because of how we're holding the pen, but it's also the flexibility of the pen, the, the literary flexibility of the nib versus the flexibility of a fine tip of a fine liner. It's interesting just as this develops, just to notice how much darker the sketch is on the left than the right as well. Filmed exactly the same time, using the exact same camera, but there's definitely a much bolder uh, feel to the sketch with the fountain pen. And at the moment, there's not too much to choose between them, isn't it? It's, it'd be down to personal choice. Do you like the more controlled look or do you like the bold and more angular, loose feel? of the fountain pen. Now this is interesting though isn't it because what we can do with uh, fine liners is change our fine liner um, to, to get that boldness. So now on the right I started with a 0.8 millimeter fine liner something really bold and now we're starting to see that contrast amp up. So we've got a lot of contrast building. Now the difficulty the difference here is that on the left with the fountain pen because it's one pen one flexible pen producing all different lines there is a, a movement and a flow between fine medium and bold lines whereas on the right it's more punchy because we've got fine lines and bold lines they're, they're next to each other rather than the same thing so we feel more illustrative and less sketchy Another interesting thing is how we can apply tone differently with our two pens. So I've been doing some hatching on the left with the, the fountain pen and you can see that's quite, again, it's quite bold and punchy, perhaps a bit distracting. So maybe this is a win for the fine liner. Do you see how the hatching on the right is much more subtle, much neater? The same action, but it gives a different effect. But I cheekily swapped over my fountain pen on the left. So I was starting with carbon black ink, which is waterproof. Um, and then I swapped over to use just normal Lamy ink in a, in a different Lamy Safari. And so when we're thinking about tone, on one hand we've got hatching, on the other we've got literally applying tone or value through a wash. Um, often we do that with watercolours, but with a fountain pen we can easily swap to a water-soluble ink. And wow, we can create this tonal, fascinating, loose sketch so quickly. So there's our two versions, both shown to you in real time, both taking about four and a half minutes, both doing the exact same scene, the exact same shapes by the exact same man. 
and it really comes down to personal choice. Which do you prefer? I'd love to hear in the comments your winner. Do you prefer this sketch on the left, the bold tonal differences, the flexible lines going from really contrasting blacks to much lighter and sketchy looseness? Do you, on the other hand, prefer our entry on the right, which is a sort of two-tone sketch, well not two-tone, but two different pens giving two very different qualities of line. Much more jarring in that sense, but much more illustrative in the other sense, and using more subtle, interesting hatching rather than a real punch, a real pazaz of that tone from a wash. I mean, it really is just personal choice. So there's no right answer here. As much as I'd love there to be one wonderfully right answer, of course, there's not a right answer. What do I tend to do? Well, I tend to take my Lamy Savari around with me because then I just carry one pen in my pocket and I know it will do everything I want to. But sometimes I just want that control. I want to do something neat and I want to just have a slightly different feel to my sketching. And then I'll use my fine liners. I'm not fussed by which brand of fine liners I use all sorts and I suggest just getting the ones which are on sale to be honest until you develop a really strong brand loyalty. But there's my entries again as I said let me know in the comments what do you prefer what do you like using. If you enjoy my stuff please do like and subscribe and show some love to your favourite sketch in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Thank you.